website in a week I'm so excited for this one it is a dental client so they are um, in, based in Atlanta and they have a very successful um, business where they do like veneers more of like the cosmetic aesthetics of dentistry so I'm really excited because he has been so organized so on top of it he sent me all the things I need so now I just get to jump into the design and then on Wednesday we will be developing. So we're gonna develop this website on WordPress and I'm gonna integrate the Shopify buttons through Shopify Lite. So Shopify Lite is not a thing anymore. So now it's just Shopify Buy Buttons and Shopify Starter. Um, both of them, I've actually never used Shopify Starter. The Buy Buttons is basically what I was using with Light, so that's what we're going to be continuing to use for them. So they only have a few products, that's why I was like, I think this will be a perfect way to do it and we can make it look really custom and artsy and really cool for you. So I'm excited. Right now I'm going to pull up their form and um, just kind of go through some of the things they filled out for me. Then we will draw the wire framing and um get to designing it so i'm super excited sorry my air fryer um and then at 11 i am meeting my friend for coffee so i want to make sure i can send this out before i meet with her that way while i'm there he can provide me feedback and then i can move on so i need to get to work i will catch you guys up in a little I finished the homepage design. I'm like really excited about it. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for is the transparent version of their logo because I've tried everything to remove the background and it's just like not, not doing it. It's like looking really wonky and stuff. So waiting on the transparent version of their logo, but this is what we have so far. So we have the menu. A top menu that has like contact us portal stuff like that um, I really love this font pairing for them this actually isn't their brand font so um, I'll probably change that out after but um, I kind of want to see what they think about this font because I just love it for them it's very like modern and very luxurious feeling um, and then we have a quote from the main doctor. I thought it'd be kind of nice to have that slide in. And then we have a little service section and I want this to be like a moving kind of slideshow to show clients of theirs and work they've done. And then like a little list of their um, services. Then we have a section all about the main doctor. So I put behind the brand. I'm gonna think of another word for brand because I mean, I don't know behind the dentistry something like that but this is a little section about him connect on instagram he has a lot of followers on instagram so i think that would be really nice to push um it gives him a lot of like credibility and stuff so connect on instagram and i do need a place where they can follow somehow so i'm gonna think about that and then we have the rest of the team here um so we have Dr. Jess and Dr. Dave, a um, little info about them and like some cute fun facts. And then this little Instagram icon will hover to a different color. Um, right now it's very minimal looking. I want, it la I want it that way because I don't want it to be like in your face. Like, I don't know. I just feel like if we have an Instagram feed going already, it's kind of nice to just have some icons. Then we have a bottom section that says consult with the dentist behind the art. And then we have a footer. So I'm loving how this looks. The only issues I ran into was they had a beige backdrop for their photos that doesn't, as you can see, like these two, they don't match. Those beiges don't match. So that's why I use the darker kind of like burnt orange color. 
um, for the backdrop here. So I'm hoping they like that. I was also thinking instead of this orange, the green looks kind of nice. That does look nice actually. So I'm gonna play around with the colors while I wait for the logo from him. But this is what it's looking like. Okay guys, I showered and got ready for the day, but I am waiting for feedback um, from the client on the homepage design. I'm gonna give them some time and then I'll go check and see if they left comments or anything. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make some lunch and then I think I'm gonna run to the UPS store and the post office. I have a couple things I need to deliver. So that's my plan. If they do leave comments, so I'll probably prioritize that and just do the returns later. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this lunch because I went to the farmer's market in our town yesterday and they had this sourdough bread. It's a salted, lemon rosemary bread and it's freaking amazing so i'm gonna make some avocado toast with a little bit of cottage cheese and a slice of like turkey on top to get all that protein um i am like really experiencing like vision issues i've been noticing like when i sit at my computer too long i start to get like dizzy so i'm kind of trying to be better about like walking away from my computer wearing my glasses more but i think it might be congestion or something in my ears so i don't know what it is but taking a break from looking at the computer and let's make some food so i left the house to go make all of my returns and it's pouring rain the summer has been so weird because it's been like pouring rain a lot to be honest like for the past month almost every other day when the afternoon hits it starts raining so very strange but i kind of like it in a weird way so i just returned most of my things and then i ordered a decaf coffee online because that just feels like the perfect little pick me up to finish designing the full website but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for my coffee to be made, I'm gonna walk into the Sephora that they just opened because I, in my last vlog, if you haven't watched it, I'll link it up above, but I converted all my makeup to clean makeup, acne safe makeup, because I am tired of like random breakouts that I get from, most commonly from makeup. So I wanted to like clean it all out and I threw away so much of my used, it was pretty much empty makeup, but I want to kind of get a couple things here and there to add back into my things. So um, I'm gonna walk into, why is the entrance closed? It's like pouring rain, I don't wanna walk out. But yeah, I'm gonna walk in there and probably get like the foundation that I want or I don't know yet, I just want to see what they have, so I'll show you guys what I get. Oh, okay guys, it is pouring rain. Um, it's crazy. But I got just two things. First thing was the Say, or is the Say slip tint, which is what I'm wearing and I feel like it looks pretty good on my skin, so I'm excited about that. Got a couple samples of the Kosas foundation. And then I got the little milk um, blush lip thing. So I hope this is a good color. I kind of just realized I didn't really like test out the color. It might be a little too dark. Let's see. I'm gonna test it on my lips. So it's a lip and blush. Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. I think that'll be a pretty blush too so that's what i got let's go get my coffee and go home i like want to be at home cozy with my candles on in this rain so let's head back okay guys so on the revision day i of course started with a coffee because i knew it was going to be a longer day because i'm going to be starting the development today 
just so I can kind of get ahead. Um, my latte art was not doing too good, but here it is. Um, but anyway, I jumped into looking at the Figma and he left quite a bit of notes, which was awesome. So love Figma because they can drop comments anywhere and it makes it really nice for me to reference. So this is me just kind of setting up the Divi theme options, the colors, the fonts, everything we need. And here's a little view of like what the notes look like on Figma. I really love it and I think I might start using this more than Adobe XD. Hello you guys. I just realized I have been just in the zone not updating you all on everything I've been working on today for website in a week. So today we are ahead of schedule because they really only had like three revisions. And the revisions were so easy. It was like swapping out an image. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna start the development of the website today. I just worked on changing the name servers for the for the domain. And then I also set up their WordPress like theme settings, like the colors, the fonts, stuff like that. So I can put you guys here. I just realized that on Leo's little, his little wall gym thing. Um, so yeah, I feel really good about it. I'm like so excited that we're on the same vision in the page. We're on the same page, um, so that's been really nice. Um, yeah, usually Tuesdays are all for revisions, but those are done. We're ready to develop, so I'm very excited because if I can develop today, a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow, I'll have some extra time for my other clients, so right now actually i have therapy in like 30 minutes but right now i'm going to work on my um other clients branding guide i need to get that over to him make one change to the logo and i just have so many other clients i need to follow up with and yeah i have a lot going on and then uh, after therapy i'm meeting my friend for coffee we've been trying to catch up for a long time and this is the only day we're free so I'm just going to work later. I have no other plans today um, besides just work. So that's what's going on. I pretty much got ready for the day because I want to film a YouTube intro. I already filmed like the content of the video. Um, but I need to go blow dry my hair actually. I'm like freezing. It's probably because my hair is wet. So I'm going to go blow dry my hair and then continue work. And I will catch you guys up a little later. Hello guys, I'm on my way to go work at the coffee shop. Uh, my friend is meeting me, so we're gonna get work done, just catch up. I have a couple things that I, my goal to get done at the coffee shop is, one, I wanna develop at least the homepage for my website in a week, and then tomorrow I can do the rest of the pages, and then two, I need to make web edits before tomorrow night for another client. I don't think the edits will take me very long, so that's probably the first thing I'll be working on when I get to the coffee shop, um, because I need to submit that by tomorrow. And then when we get home, we will film wine and design and probably pour ourselves a glass of wine. So I'm excited. Um, my therapy session went really well, and it's nice when you can go to therapy and like so many things in your life are going smooth and well. I felt like, why am I even, I felt like, why did I schedule a therapy appointment when I don't really have anything pressing on my mind? But that's the reason I love therapy is she was like bringing up things that like I just have been thinking about, but that I probably should still be working on and like growing towards and stuff. So it was really good. And I feel like I sometimes need those little reminders that she gives, like, really really helpful things especially for like my anxiety because I get anxiety pretty often especially like if there's major client things or you know times in my life where I need to like have difficult conversations I get like major anxiety um to the point where my body reacts and I like shake and I get like anxiety attacks so that's what I've been like really wanting to work on and like get more comfortable with you know, standing up for things for myself, but it was a good session, so I did that, I'm gonna get a good meal, I need lunch, so I'm gonna order something at the coffee shop, they have like a really good menu of different sandwiches and stuff like that, so I'm gonna get some food, and yeah, I'm excited.
excited though. I love all the projects I'm working on, so I like I look forward to opening my computer, which is the best feeling. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little later. Good morning, you guys. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. I really just don't care. Um, but I'm actually on my way to meet with the girl who does my hair because we might possibly trade services. I do this occasionally with people I like know and trust and we talked about getting hair extensions. So she just got certified in keratin hair extensions. I've always wanted to try extensions. I feel like my hair is like healthy right now but I just would love a little extra length and I know for my sister's wedding I feel like it'd be kind of fun to like do something different um so yeah we're gonna meet to talk about how the trade would work um and like if I owe anything if she owes anything from what it sounds like I might owe something because the extensions are not cheap um but we'll see we'll kind of talk about it today and then she might measure me for the length of the hair and we might get it scheduled so I'm pretty excited I'll let you guys know how that goes and what happens with it but yeah I have that and then right after that I have a Pilates class and I got ahead on the development last night oh shoot this is gonna fall so I can show you guys today what I developed um and then I woke up early this morning wide awake like Woke up at 6 a.m. wide awake. Um, so I worked on the development this morning too. So I feel pretty good with where I'm at. Um, sorry, that was weird. They're doing construction. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys a little later. I did Starbucks real quick before heading in there because I'm a little early. Um, and I got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso so there's no local shops near the salon they're like all kind of farther um so i had to had to go to starbucks but i'm excited for this actually I haven't had it in a while but it sounds pretty good so got that and then i like to add the caramel crunch and it just goes on the bottom it's like a little crunch when you slurp it up mm. That's good. Back home from Pilates, and I actually was productive in between the hair meeting and Pilates, and I was able to get um, some of my stuff done. So, sent out edits I needed to send out for a website that I'm only designing, I'm not developing it. The girl who contracted me out to design it is developing it herself, so it's kind of Kind of a cool little thing we got going. I love the design part, so I am excited about that. Um, but I also was able to de develop the homepage and the about page of the website in a week. So I feel pretty good with where I'm at. I feel like if I just dedicate two hours right now, I can develop most of the website since I'm like pretty experienced with Divi now. I know where all the little things are. Um, so I'm gonna just, I might actually, yeah, I'm gonna do it now, 11 to 1. I'm just gonna like grind it out and um, develop the website. And I'm doing it so that as I'm developing the pages, I'm also developing mobile. So every single section I'm creating, I'm making sure that it's mobile friendly. Um, that way I don't have to work backwards. And yeah, that seems to be working the best. So I'm closing out of some apps on my computer because it's gonna slow it down. So I always recommend SiteGround for my clients for the WordPress hosting um, because I love the customer service. I've had really good experiences with speed of my website. I just love the platform. I know how to use it really well now and I just feel like it's one of my favorites. I've used all, like almost all hosting platforms I've used. HostGator, Bluehost. Um, I've even had clients have like legal zoom that was one of them network solutions i have seen other ones that are like smaller name named hosting brands but i just always come back to siteground i like it a lot so that's why i use it and i love their referral program like i get 50 dollars anytime 
any of my clients sign up with my link so that's like a huge huge bonus um so yeah anyway i just logged in to the site ground i need to actually download or go on to figma on here i don't have the figma desktop app on my desktop which seems weird i should probably do that but i don't have it on there so yeah i'm just closing out a lot of time so i can get to work and i will catch up with you guys later also i think i told you guys that tonight i'm taking my friend's engagement photos and i'm so excited to take them i really want to get back into my photography that was what i really wanted to do full time before i started doing graphic design i wanted to be a wedding photographer um but then i shadowed a wedding and i was like I don't know this is a little stressful but i am very excited to do like engagement pictures so yeah stay tuned for how those turn out i'll probably post them on instagram and stuff um but i'm excited so anyway i'll talk to you guys later so here is a look into me developing the mobile and the desktop version on divi um, divi is a visual builder so no coding is required a little bit of coding is required sometimes if you want to make it like super custom but I love it because I can really build any page any way I want without knowing code. So this is me just kind of like developing it and making sure everything's aligned. I keep going back and forth through mobile in this just to make sure it's perfect. Um, when it's time lapse, it looks really sped up, but honestly, it took me around like four to five hours to fully develop the entire website. So it took me a lot longer than I thought, but um, it looks pretty cool when it's all completed. So I just checked off my task list that my client can see as well, and we're moving on. I am pretty much done developing the site. Now what I need to do is make the buy buttons on Shopify, and I can show you guys behind the scenes on how I do that. But I have that to do, and then um, send him the link. I want to make sure that the mobile site is completely optimized and like looks okay format-wise before I send it to him. So I'm going to be checking on my phone and just like going through it all before I send it to him and also on my to-do list I mentioned that I will send it at the end of the day so they know that like they know what I'm working on right now I don't feel like rushed to send it early in the day um so I'm gonna make sure it's perfect before I do that but right now um I actually have to do something for another client of mine that I just need to fix something up on one of the designs and send that back over the camera's gonna die um but i just reached 10k on tiktok and i'm like oh my god that is so cool i've been wanting to reach that number um, because i've been consistently posting on there so it feels really good lots of uh haters over on tiktok a lot of like people that want to say their opinion all the time which can be mentally draining but i'm still reaching that number and i'm getting more clients so it's worth it but <laughs> anyway i will talk to you guys a little later i'm gonna charge my camera and leo's licking my snack so i gotta go stop him all right guys i'm off to go take my friend's engagement pictures i'm excited it looks like it's gonna start like raining or thundering at seven which actually i've heard is like the best photography lighting so we'll probably work with it um yeah i'm excited I'll So on this day, I hopped on a call with my client just to walk through everything, make sure all the buttons are linking to where they need to go. I also just like to kind of check in with them, make sure they're liking how it looks before Friday comes, which is the launch day. So it was a really productive call. Everything was looking pretty good. There was just some buttons that needed to be linked to a different place. But overall, I really like to get on these calls um, just to kind of see where they're at. And yeah, this one was really good. I'm really happy that they don't have that many edits. It's kind of a nice and simple one to move forward with. Hello guys, it's Thursday, which basically is the day that I prepare the website to launch. I had a call with the client an hour ago and it went so well they have like no edits they're so happy with it which makes me so happy that everything has gone so smooth and i feel like there's a few reasons it went so smooth one they had all the content the photos everything i needed before we started and two the guy has been so great at responding really quickly and they were very clear and upfront about what they wanted so i knew the direction to take it in 
so there really wasn't that many edits which is so cool and exciting and I'm really happy with how it's come together um yeah so basically I just came to a coffee shop I'm going to work here for a little I just need to make sure all the buttons are working I like to make some complimentary launch graphics for them I might do that I don't I do have their logo file, so I think I'm going to do that for them. And then, um, yeah, just make sure it's all good to go. Then I have so many emails to get back to from other clients of mine. And I'm supposed to have soccer tonight, which I could go to, but part of me wants to not go because I'm kind of exhausted. It's been a long week. Um, I want to be able to like wake up in the morning and feel really good and sometimes when I play soccer at night I just feel like groggy in the morning because I'm like running all night so I don't know I'm gonna make my decision when I'm sitting in here on what I want to do. I just had soccer but I ended up leaving at halftime because I still have quite a bit to do work-wise. I have to edit my YouTube video, I have to finish the website, um, just make sure that the like buy buttons are good. And I have like other emails I haven't gotten back to so I just wanted to like get home and like I also haven't folded my laundry. I haven't done a lot of like house things that I should be doing. I've just been spreading myself way too thin this week so I left early and I felt bad because we only had two subs but um, everyone was pretty understanding so yeah anyway I'm on my way home. I'm gonna swing by the grocery store though because we need like one thing for the dinner we're making. My boyfriend and I were gonna make our favorite thing, which is like healthy nachos. We'd get like grain free tortilla chips. Um, we have like grass fed cheese. We have all like the organic sides of things. And then also um, I'm gonna make like a homemade guac for it. I'm excited, it's gonna be delicious. Um, so yeah, I need to run into Rayleigh's or the grocery store. And um, tonight my goal is to start editing this video and uh, get it up for you guys. So. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, it's the last day of website in a week and I've run into a little bit of, not issues, but kind of issues because they need a script subscription for one of their products, which I had recommended Shopify Lite because, um, sorry Leo's moving now because I like to design on WordPress and I figured that would be the best because they only have two products. But one of the products needs to be a subscription and I don't think you can do that with the buy button plan. So I'm looking at, actually they paid for a plan on Shopify. So I think there's a way I can do it and just have like a checkout link. So that's what I'm looking into and I'll catch up with you guys when I figure it out. Okay guys, I came up with a solution for the subscription. So basically when you're on the main website, you can go to the shop page, which is here. You can also see in the menu now, I do have a cart icon, which will actually link them to the Shopify cart. So I created a subdomain. So when you enter the shop page and you click shop now, it redirects you in a new tab to the subdomain where you can purchase through Shopify and you will see the subscribe and save option. So that was like the only solution I could figure out. Um, they already paid for the Shopify plan, so I figured this is gonna work totally fine for them. Same thing for this one, it takes you there. I just need to figure out how to remove the subscribe from this product because we don't want it on that product. Um, but yeah, it's working really well. And then to get back to the main website, I have this announcement bar that clicks and you can go back to the main website. And um, so from here, you can click on the cart and it'll take you to the Shopify cart. I tried to make it match as best as I could to the website that we already have. So I just sent it to them. We'll see what they say uh, for that solution, but I think that's gonna work well. Oh, yep, he said that's fine. So, um, cool. So we are good to go. I think now I'm just going to change the home page because if I click here, we still have the coming soon up. So I'm going to ask him if I can change that. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can get, get it live. <laughs> Leo's 
soaking up the sun. Come on, cutie. You like the sunshine? You like it? You're so cute. You're warm. You're so warm. Hello, guys. So it is Friday evening. I've officially completed the website. I took off the coming soon page, so it is now visible and I'm really happy with it. I think it came out really nice and probably one of my favorite websites. I love the um, color theme. I love everything that they're offering. It just was like a really cool business to work with. So super excited with how it came together and I'll probably put a little screen recording of what it looks like, but I did run into a few little issues today. Not really issues, there's always solutions. That's one of the reasons I love WordPress is, sorry, the air conditioner just went on. One of the reasons I love WordPress is because there's always a solution to anything. Anything's really possible, so that's one of my favorite parts about it. Um, so one of the things I ran into, which I told you guys today, was just coming up with a, a way for them to add subscriptions to some of the products that they have because that was necessary, but with the buy buttons on Shopify, you cannot do subscriptions, at least not from anything I saw. None of the apps were working and it just was causing some issues. There was a plugin called WP Shop that is a paid plugin. They don't have a free version anymore, but with that, you should be able to use subscription. But even then, it was kind of expensive. So they already had a Shopify plan paid for. And what I did was I created a subdomain I went into the DNS settings and or added a CNAME record. I know all of this sounds kind of like confusing if you're not doing it, but I added a CNAME record. I just followed directions from a Shopify um, page that I found on pointing an external subdomain to the Shopify store. So I did a shop dot the domain name to have the shop listed on Shopify, but also have my website on WordPress. So that's what I did and it seems to be working really well. The only like maybe not the best UI experience is that it takes them off of the website and then they have to go back in. So I open it in a new tab, but I mean, it works. I feel like it's pretty intuitive. Um, there's a button up top to go back to the website. So I feel like it's gonna be totally fine. And I feel like Shopify is just such a trusted, really good platform for selling products. So. Yeah, anyway, that was kind of the only hiccup I had. And then also right now I have to have my developer who's really good at code languages help me figure out how to autoplay auto play a video on mobile. They want it to autoplay on every browser. But Google Chrome and Safari block autoplaying sometimes, I think. So I'm gonna have him help me with the code later and I just let the client know like we're pretty much done. That's just the last thing I have to do. And um, I'll get that done for you. So we are pretty much good though. That's the only thing kind of pending. Um, my developer's so quick, so I'm sure that'll be done like this evening. But yeah, I'm excited with how it came together. I'm also excited for next week because I get to dive into some more really fun projects. But um, this was officially my fourth website in a week service and I have two more coming up soon. So I love providing this. I feel like it's probably not for everyone, including the designer and the client. Um, I feel like as a client, they have to be really prepared, have all the copywriting, have all the photos, have everything ready for me. By the way, copywriting is basically the text that I'll be using on the website. I got a question on that today. That's just like the actual written content on the website. Um, so having that and the photos is so helpful for me because I can then launch the website for them at the end of the, the week and they have it uh, ready to go. So this client was so on top of it with everything. And I also have a preparation form that I like to have filled out at least two weeks before the start date. That way I know how we're gonna be communicating. I have all the login and credentials, um, just everything I need for the project. So yeah, I mean, I feel like I have a good process going with these services. I'm really enjoying offering them and I wanna offer them more. I am kind of the type of designer and person where I might have ADHD to be honest because I have a really hard time focusing on a lot of things and like I just jump from one thing to another all the time. It works for me but this kind of keeps me like keeps me structured and it helps me just focus on one thing at a time. So I really like it and I 
I had a really fun time with this website. It was a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. Some long days, like Wednesday on the development was like a seven, eight hour day on top of some other client stuff and taking my friend's engagement pictures and it was a long day, but I mean, it's worth it. They did pay me pretty well for this one, so I am happy about that and yeah, anyway, I'm just happy with this. this week was just such a good week. I ended up hitting 10,000 on TikTok. So thank you guys so much for if you're following me there. If you're not following me there, go check it out. I try and post there almost every day. Um, and yeah, I'd love if you guys went and connected with me. And then besides website in a week, besides social media, I am working on, so basically rest of the year, I'm gonna be working on setting up a community platform. I really like want to connect with you guys more. I want to get to know you guys. I want to meet you guys. I want to like have a place where we can actually connect and talk. And also I feel like it can be lonely working alone all the time at home. So I would love to like have a little chat area where we can just like check in with each other every week. So I'm really excited. I've been kind of going back and forth with different community platforms and um let me know if you guys have a preferred one originally i was thinking of patreon but it just doesn't have everything i need um so i'm thinking either mighty networks or circle so let me know what you guys think on that but anyway i'm gonna go relax i might pour myself a glass of wine chill out for the evening because that was a long week and um yeah it was a long it was a long one but it was a good exciting one and i hope you guys enjoyed watching the full process and hanging out with me all week but thank you guys so much for watching this video me and leo are just soaking up the sun but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next one